Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message I read from the internet and the message I received this week. The first message is from the article I read from the internet. It was posted on July 5, 2022. Here is the translation in English. The title of the message is Prepare Faith for Very Difficult Days, Keep Holding On. Here is the message. As usual during parts of Solomon's worship, God shows the state of the world. In these days, there is a real economic recession. Many died of starvation, more crime, no longer afraid of human, did not think long. Killing became a common thing. Everywhere cries of despair, suicide, new diseases keep ha appearing, disasters happen, they happen everywhere. I was sad to see this and I heard the voice of the Lord say, Don't be afraid, my servant. My word guarantees those who are truly live righteously walk faithfully with me. Scripture given is from Revelation 6 verse 7 to 8. Let us read. When the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked and there before me a pale horse. Its rider was named Death and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. And then back to the message. The Lord also shows many servants of the Lord. Also they are servants of God who are used extraordinary or great or famous. Their faith is lost, they perish. I'm surprised, cannot believe this. But it is very clear what God has shown. And then another scripture is from Revelation 12, verse 4. Let us read. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth, so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. Lots of God's children serve with Bibles, busy surfing here and there. Look so yell, but very clearly shown they are naked and have no seal at all on their foreheads. The voice of the Lord said, Their spirits died even though they were still alive. They are left behind in the great tribulation because their lives are, are still full of flesh and sin. The fourth seal is open. Repent, repent. Because time is not what we think, everything is very short. Jesus bless you from parts of Solomon's worship and theme. That's the end of the first message, brothers and sisters. And then I will share the message I received this week. Brothers and sisters, two days ago on July 8, 2022, at night when I was about to start praying around 8.40 p.m., I suddenly heard another sound like a trumpet again, just like last week, but it only sounded once. If last week I heard it almost at the end of the night prayer, now it sounded before the prayer start. At the same night, I had a short dream. In this dream, I seemed to be busy preparing YouTube video that I will post soon. After the draft of the message was finished, for some reason I seemed to be busy with other things or distracted, so I couldn't record and publish the video. And finally, at the appointed time, I did not post the video because it was not recorded yet. I was quite panicked in this dream and I think it is impossible to record and publish it now. No enough time to do that. And then I look at the computer screen, the draft of the message I had written. In my spirit, I knew the message I was about to share was about the fifth trumpet. Then I woke up from this dream. In the morning as I pondered about this dream, I was reminded to the fifth trumpet that I saw in the message in this dream. At that time, I didn't know what the fifth trumpet is about, so I searched in my Bible. I found it's written in Revelation 9, verse 1 to 12. Let us read brothers and sisters from verse 1 to 6. The fifth angel sounded his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from the sky to the earth. The star was given the key to the shaft of the abyss. When he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it, like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. 
The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke up from the abyss, and out of the smoke locusts came down on the earth and were given power like the that of the scorpions of the earth. They were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any plant or tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were not allowed to kill them, but only to torture them for five months, and the agony of their they suffered was like that of the sting of a scorpion when it strikes. During those days, people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will elude them. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I feel the star that had fallen from the sky to the earth represents the fallen angels or Satan or Lucifer. They were given the key to open the bottomless pit. In verse 2, it is written that when he opened the abyss, smoke rose from it like the smoke from a gigantic furnace. The sun and sky were darkened by the smoke from the abyss. This first reminded me to the dream I had in November 2019 before COVID-19 pandemic. I saw the black ship like a volcano and the black smoke rose from that volcano and made the whole sky become dark or black. Maybe it represents the disease or pandemic or plague. Also maybe some of us have heard or read the news about what these evil people doing at CERN where they are trying to open the portal and try to figure out how the universe is created. It is written in the scripture that the universe is created by God, so what they are doing is clearly against God. Maybe the opening of the, the bottomless pit related to this. I don't know, I'm just saying. Brothers and sisters, whatever will happen, we know God is in, God is in control. The devil cannot touch us if we have the seal of God, if we walk with God faithfully. We will be kept or hidden from the great tribulation that will come soon on earth. Let us seek God with all our heart, keep praying, and prepare ourselves to be the bride of Christ. Jesus is coming very soon. All signs are here. We must wake up and don't slumber. The all the message, brothers and sisters. Hope this could help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.